the introductions to periodic table, the history of the developments. Uh, and uh, let's start with Johann Dobrainer. Now, Johann Dobrainer, he introduced the law of triads. Uh, law of triads. Now, what does it mean by this law of triads? Eh? Okay, now let's see. According to Dobrainer, okay, Johann Dobrainer, he said the nature contained triads of elements. Triads of elements. And uh, in these triads of elements, the middle element had uh, properties that were an average of the other two members when ordered by the atomic weight, eh? the law of triads. Now, what does this mean? Eh? Uh, examples. Eh? Examples. Um, According to Dobrainer, okay, he's uh, he gives a few examples. Uh. Okay, the first one is this uh, alkali formers. Uh, I think it's not very clear. Uh, it's not very clear for this uh, few number here. Uh, let me write here. So this is lithium uh, Li, and uh, this is seven. Okay, and uh, this is potassium, and uh, this is thirty nine. Uh, this is not given in your notes. Uh, okay. Uh, this is in your notes, but this example is not given in the notes. Huh? All these names and uh, inventions need to memorize will come up frequently. So far, my school only came up once or twice. Okay, usually it will come up in objective questions. Okay, it will come in objective questions. Yes, it will come up. Uh, usually just one question in objective questions. Uh, actually, it seldom come out. Anyway, it's not very hard to memorize, so you are advised to memorize or to, to remember that. Okay. Okay, now according to this law of triads, Dobrainer says that uh, uh, we can group these elements into a triad. Triad means a group of three elements, like for example, this one lithium, sodium, and potassium. We group them okay, together, three elements in a group, and then some. Um, these three elements, it, it has same chemical properties, okay, or similar chemical properties, eh? similar chemical properties, and the one in the middle, eh? the the atomic weight, the atomic ma uh, the atomic weight actually is the uh, is equal to the nuclear number, eh? the atomic weight. This atomic weight eh? is equal to the nuclear number. Okay, so the nuclear number of the middle one. Eh? is the average average of the nuclear number of the first and the last one okay so 39 plus 7 46 uh, okay so this one uh, okay 7 you plus plus this uh, 39 you get 46 right okay and then 46 you divide by 2 then you will get 23 okay so the middle one uh the, the average the average of the first and the last uh, elements, uh, the the nuclear number, okay, will be equal to the nuclear number of the middle one. So that is what does it mean by this uh, law of triads, uh, okay, law of triads. Uh, let's see another examples, uh, another examples, okay. Uh, again, uh, this one is is also not very clear. Uh, this one is chlorine, Cl, thirty five point five. Uh. Uh, this one is iodine 127 okay. if you use your calculator to do to do the calculations uh, you will find uh, you will found that uh, the nuclear numbers of bromine is very close to the average of chlorines and uh, iodines it's not the same but it's uh, very close huh? so that that is what does this uh, dobrainer means by the law of triads so Do Johann Dobrainer, he, he introduced a lot of triads. Then let's see the second one, John Newlands. Huh? John Newlands, he introduced a lot of octave. Yeah? What does it mean by this lot of octave? Huh? Now, according to Newlands, any given element will exhibit uh, analogs behavior to the eight elements following in the table. Now, what does this mean? Huh? Okay. Now to know what does this a lot of octave means, uh, we need to know what does it mean by octave. Uh, okay, octave is the is a word used in music. Yeah, it's a word used in music. Now in music you have this do re mi right? Okay, do re mi. Yeah? Now, uh, for example, this one. Okay, we have do re mi fa so la ti do. Now you can see that uh, this is the first one. Eh? So this is the first one. Two, three, four, five. Six seven. Now the eighth note, the eighth note, uh, okay, 
will become do again and this is do and this the eight note will be do again okay and uh if the frequency of the first do is 329.63 okay then the frequency of the next do which is higher one okay uh, will be 659.26 and this is the doubles huh? this frequency is the doubles of this one okay means that this frequency you times two huh? okay then you will get this frequency okay and uh this frequency is another do okay and uh, this will repeat and repeat and repeat again okay so for example this one uh, if you times two okay then you will get another do okay you will get another do again okay and uh from this one to this one we call an octave okay this do to this do this is called an octave huh? okay so <clears throat> uh so john newlands he say uh the elements also show the same uh, properties so show the same properties as the music note so he say the eight elements uh, the eight elements one two three four five six seven eight okay now but at the times uh, at the times new lens uh, he introduced this lot of octave uh, they haven't uh, found uh, this uh, inert gas so this is excluded eh? because they don't know about neon okay they don't know about neon so so then he say uh one two three four five six seven eight and this is the eight this is the eight elements okay and this is the first elements so the first elements and the eight elements they have same chemical properties is like uh the music this is a musical note eh? the first one and the eight one eh? okay this one octave and both of them are do. So for uh, elements also, it shows the same things. The first one and the eighth one, they have same chemical properties and very similar physical properties. Uh, he realized the periodically changes of this, uh, the, the chemical and the physical properties of elements. Yeah. So he called this a lot of octave, lot of octave. So John Newlands, he introduced a lot of octave. It's Lothermeyer. Now Lothermeyer, what he do is he plot a graph. He plot a graph that is the graph of atomic volumes against the atomic weight, uh, the volumes of an atoms against the weight of the atoms, and then he found some things uh, similar to uh, Newlands. Okay, he found that this element it shows some uh, periodically properties, the uh, chemicals and physical properties. Uh, so he, he found that some of the properties, uh, especially the chemical properties, recur, this, uh, recur periodically. He also noticed that the elements occupying the corresponding positions of the curve show similar chemical properties. Now, what does this mean? Uh, so this is the uh, Mayer's curve. Okay, Mayer's curve. Uh, actually, it's a graph. Uh, it's a graph. Uh, in this graph, we have two axes. And uh, the vertical one is the volume, is the volume of the atoms, and the horizontal one is the mass of the atoms. So he plot this graph. Actually, there are uh, a lot of elements in in this curve. Uh, okay, but I just labeled a few. I just labeled a few. So according to according to uh, Mayer's, okay, he he found that the chemical properties, uh, the chemical properties of the elements. Uh, uh, it's uh, recur periodically. Okay, you can see that uh, from here it's very high, right? Okay, the volume is very high. It go down and come up again. Okay, this is one cycle, and then it go down and come up again. Another cycle, it go down and come up again. There's another cycle. So that's that's what we call it. Uh, it recur periodically, and then he found that those elements occupy the same positions. For example. This one, okay, it's very high, right? Okay, actually, this is one cycle. Right? This is one cycle. This is another cycle. This one at the top, right? This one at the top. This one at the top, and this one at the top, right? Like, okay. Now these elements that locates at the top, uh, okay, show uh, similar chemical properties. And the next one, this is a, this is the highest, uh, okay. The next one, this one, okay, the magnesium and calcium. There's another one here, okay. Also show uh, same chemical properties. So that's what this, does he means by this, okay? Uh, so the proper, the chemical properties recur periodically and uh, the, the elements occupying the corresponding positions of the curve show similar chemical properties, eh? okay?
So same positions, same chemical properties. And uh, the chemical properties uh, recurs periodically. Okay, this one go up, uh, one cycles, another cycles, another cycles.